Hello, hello, and welcome to Basic Stop Motion. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import your stop motion animation as an image sequence to Premiere Pro. So before we head to Premiere Pro, I just want to mention that in your Dragon Frame project, if you have um, applied any changes, added a hold, or moved pictures around, or copied and reuse the picture you probably would want to hit conform if you're not sure what conforming does i have another video explaining what conforming is i will put the link in the description below so do make sure to hit conform on your project and then after that you will want to create a folder for your premiere files which i have already done and i have also created a folder for only assets which include my um, music that I'm going to use for this stop motion and also another folder and I copied all the pictures from uh, the dragon frame folder to here as well and also you can see the ones that are tagged as green were the ones that needed some photoshop work and I have already edited these photos also the original pictures were 8000 pixels by 6000 or something around that and I had changed that number as well so I wouldn't run into a heavy project in Premiere Pro. I do recommend you doing that as well otherwise your computer might struggle loading these files into Premiere Pro. Alright, I also have created another folder for all the Premiere files. Now let's open Premiere Pro. and we want to click on the new project you also got to give it a name stir flower pr and we need to browse and find the same folder that we have created here is my pr files folder and i need to click on choose that as a destination and click on ok Okay, so there are a few ways to import your stop motion project as an image sequence. You can click on this area, which is what I normally do, and click on import. You can also go to file import. And you got to go and navigate your folder and go to where you have all the pictures saved. When you click on one, click on this option button. By default, the image sequence is turned off. So make sure that you turn on this check mark button. And when you have one of it selected and the numbers are all in a sequence, it will know that you would want to import all of these pictures as a video. So when you click on import, it's going to import all your images and attach them as a video. Let's take a look at it. So here's the stop motion that I created. It's playing way too fast and let's just fix that. We need to create an image sequence. So I'm going to click on this button and choose sequence. And I'm going to pick 1080, 24 frames per second. And click on OK. In order to add this to our image sequence, we can just drag and drop it. And if the size of your clip doesn't match the size of your sequence, you're going to get this warning and I'm going to keep existing settings. I don't want the sequence to change its size based on the video. So now let's zoom in. Let me play it and you can see it is going way too fast. And in order to change the speed, we need to select this video and right click on it and find out where it says speed duration it's on a hundred percent right now and we want it to be on 50 percent and that would give us a 12 frame per second speed so let's do that and you can obviously change the color correction and add your music or your audio to your premiere file as well and finish editing your project that's all i wanted to share with you guys about image sequence and how to import them to premiere pro 
if you want to import your image sequence to After Effects, it is the same exact way. After Effects also have that same exact option button that you need to check mark the image sequence. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching and I hope I see you in the next one. Thank you.